everyone seems to have lost someone here. Uh, but you, you already see that people are uh, people here were responsible for saving the lives of their family members, of their friends in the neighborhood who were buried under the rubble. So they've been amazingly resilient in, in supporting themselves. However, there is a limit to that resilience because as you can see, it is a poor community and Haiti has suffered a disaster after a disaster, year after year. Ah, okay, that's all. Okay. We do need funding desperately now. And we're launching an appeal for $180 million that will be targeting half a million most vulnerable people. They more people need assistance, obviously, but we're targeting the most vulnerable. The local community has managed to mobilize what scarce resources they have for to clear the rubble, uh, obviously together with government agencies where they where they also have resources and capacity to clear the rubble, to save lives, etc. But there's no re there's no rebuilding going on. Uh, people are still displaced. They certainly need health support. They need access to health, the health centers need to be fixed, the capacity needs to be repaired, uh, and they need immediate emergency support on health and, and health kits. There are already, before the earthquake, 4.4 million people were food insecure in Haiti. That's just been further compounded and exacerbated by the earthquake. So food is imperative, much more than it was before even.